Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying 2D shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 31 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a set of figures shown, and we need which figure has at least one acute right, wow, all three. Okay, all three angles. So let's talk about what these angles are, because they're not on your mathematics chart, so you just need to kind of know these going in. So this right here is an acute angle. Now, it doesn't always have to be just like that. It could be kind of like this. Or it can be super, super skinny like this. All of these are acute angles. So anything that is less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. So that's that's really what we're looking for, less than 90. So our 90 degrees is kind of our benchmark. We kind of relate all of our angles to whether they are greater than or less than 90 degrees, because a 90 degree angle is the right angle. It's perpendicular lines, and it's the angle that all of our walls and our floors have. In order for our walls to stand, they need to be at a right angle. They can't be acute or obtuse. So obtuse is going to be this angle that is larger than 90. So it can be really, really big like that, or it could just be just a little bit above 90. Uh, but anything that's above... All right, so 90... It's going to be greater than 90. So those are the three types of angles that we're learning about here. And so we need to classify our shapes based on these angles. And so really what we do is we look, uh, look for the right angle, and then we look at is the angle larger or smaller than that right angle. Okay, so let's classify each shape. And I'll just put A, R, actually I won't put R, I'll put that little square because that's what we typically do because they are square corners. A, the square, or O. All right, so look at these two angles down here. This is T. This is a trapezoid. Okay, trapezoid is a quadrilateral with only one set of parallel lines. We've got the top and the bottom. So those two down in the bottom, those are little acute angles, right? Because a right angle would kind of be like this, so it's smaller than that. But if you were to flip it upside down and look at these angles up here, these are actually both obtuse angles, because if you wanted a right angle, it would be like that. So see how it's larger than that right angle? See, those would be right angles. So I've got two acute and two obtuse, but I don't have the right. All right. So if I were to look at W, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, seven sides. Okay. We don't see that very often. Heptagon. Not that we really need to know the name of that shape. We don't really draw heptagons very often. So, like that would be a right angle. So this is definitely bigger than that. So that's obtuse. Same with this. Two. So you know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking all of these. Look how big these are. All of these look like they're obtuse. Yeah, every single one of these. All obtuse. All right, so that's not going to work because I don't have any right or acute. So this is also a trapezoid, but this is what we call a right trapezoid. It still only has one set of parallel lines. That's what makes a trapezoid a trapezoid, a quadrilateral with one set of parallel lines. Still just got two bases, top and bottom, that are parallel. But this, this line over here on the left is not slanted. Oh, look what I've got. I've got two right angles. And then this little guy right here, that is definitely acute, because that would be a right angle right there. And this big guy right here, that's definitely obtuse, because that would be a right angle right there, and it's larger than that. That's got all three. Okay, let's check Y. Just a right triangle. And let's see. That's a right angle. Oh, but these two are going to be acute. No obtuse. All right, so my answer is C.